Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Time now, 749. All right, so if, you'll, if you're looking to serve up something a little different at this year's Labor Day party, you might want to consider wraps. Wraps are fun, yeah. conversational, and make great nutritious finger foods. And That's here right. is Tanya Skeeter. We love having you, and thanks for coming in. I'm always I'm just so excited you, when I can come in here. <laughs> now, you're the salad lady, but today we're making a, a different type of salad in the form of a wrap. Actually, you know what? I was thinking about that on my way here. I said, gee, it, I do put most of this in a salad, so it is a salad and a wrap. Okay, it's a wrap salad. Wrap salad. I like that. So, so uh, what do we have? Well, I have a spinach uh, tortilla. Okay, nice and healthy. I had some fresh spinach, a combination of provolone, mozzarella, and um, Parmesan cheese. I add a little bit of red onion. Mm, that, and you're just going to lay it across. so much tastier than yellow onion. I think. It's sweeter. It's sweeter. I find. And it's better for preparing, you know, these types of meals. Sure, it's colorful. So I'm adding some bell pepper, and okay. we're going to just drop some cucumber seeds. It's all healthy. You don't have to be uh, worried about too many calories mm. here. Little cherry tomatoes. Little cherry tomatoes. And here's the key to making a good wrap. You've got to have well-seasoned chicken, protein, protein um, seafood. Just make sure it's well-seasoned. Now, now, what kind of seasoning? Salt and pepper, or like well, a fancy I use like pie? a like a chicken herb seasoning, or you know maybe something with um, a little cayenne. It okay. just depends so on your, on your choice. So, a we, kick. so we can taste it. Yeah. So we're gonna roll it. This is probably Make the like hardest part of, of making a wrap. Is the roll? I, I think so. For most people, if you haven't done it very often, mm -hmm. I do this so much now that well, you're a pro. I can roll this thing up. And there you go. And there's your wrap. And then you cut and it in half? Cut it on a diagonal. Oh, on an angle like that, huh? Yes. And then you can just serve it like this. There you go. So what? what's colorful. It, it is very colorful. It looks really tasty. I can't wait to eat some of these. <laughs> well, they're uh, all yours. <laughs> what, what kind of mayonnaise did you use? I just used a regular mayonnaise, and I use a pesto combination. Uh -huh. There's so many different things. You can use ranch dressing. You can use chipotle ranch. You can mm. use Caesar. There's, it's just gathering all the flavor. This is kind of almost like the glue that keeps the wrap together. <laughs> okay. So there you go. That's the construction glue in this yes. project. Uh, or you and, and you have hummus as well. I have hummus. Is that for the chips? Well, the hummus is actually in, in another wrap. So uh -huh. this okay. is a veggie one, which has got mango. You can put golden raisins or cranberries, mm. goat cheese, spinach, um, zucchini, walnuts so you get your protein. Mm. How about if we wanted to use a fish? How do we season the fish? Well, if you're going to season the fish, I would say let it marinate for about 30 minutes. Mm. And I, I think that something just like a, um, a Italian vinaigrette, mm. okay, with a little bit of garlic, a little salt and pepper. Make sure the fish is seasoned with salt and pepper first. Absolutely. Okay. Tom, you're the best. And then just, you can pan sear it and bake mm. it in the oven first and then crumble it up. Have. Thank you. You're not going to <laughs> Tony, thanks for coming in. We love when you come in. You're Thank you. I love coming in here. Thank All you for having right, me. everyone. Please head on.